Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Hello guys, welcome back to an episode of Minecraft. As always, this is Jason. That's Bash. And today we're going to work on getting our village safe. I think I think I'm really gonna like the way that this wood looks. Um, I don't. I hadn't really thought of a way to use it prior to now, but. With the arena being all sandstone over there, I think I'm really gonna like like how this looks. I swear, you hear that zombie? I don't see him. Um, I swear that zombies are more likely to spawn near villages. <laughs> uh, it feels like every time I'm near a village, there's some zombies around. Wow, I just put an odd number of things up there. Thought I'd count. It. I guess I counted wrong. Um. I have not I've not taken the time yet to move to move Fred over here. But once I get the walls up, that's my that's my next agenda. Is to get Fred somewhere where he can uh he can be the love of his life. And I really gotta get this place lit up because it's it's a damn danger zone. <laughs> Straight out of top gun. Uh I kind of don't like, I don't like that it goes up, because it makes making a bridge not not as easy, or a bridge, a a wall. There must be a cave right here, because I keep hearing a zombie when there's there's none to be seen. Um, I think here we'll go like this. Actually, no, give me that one back. So, um, let's see, what was this air? <coughs> I'm dying. Um, this video should air. Today is the 29th. Um, so, I believe it will air on the 31st, if I am correct in my timing. Uh, that the 30th. So, that means you guys are about to see the new Ultra Hardcore pretty soon. Um, that will be airing on Monday the 4th, I believe. I believe Monday's the 4th. I think that's right. Um, you know what, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's keep it out, out, out there. Let's not bring it in here. And as we've said, the format's a little bit different this, this season. It was tons of fun, as always, obviously. I saw that egg appear right there. But I didn't see a chicken. I swear I saw that egg appear. That was like an immaculate conception, man. We just... Oh, there's two of them. I don't know which one. Hey. Hey, guy. Oh, man. He hit me right in the face. Stop it. Alright. Um... So yeah, a different format this season, and from what I can't really talk about it, but part something about this season, <laughs> something that happens in this season has inspired me uh, to make a single player um, series based around something that happens in this season. And I, again, I can't really talk about it, uh, but <clears throat> my uh, my little side season or single player side thing. It won't be ultra hardcore. Um I know that whenever whenever I first mentioned the idea for ultra hardcore in my Minecraft hardcore series or my, my I called it Iron Man. Same thing. Har Iron Man hardcore whatever. Um it's all the same thing. Don't die if you do die it's over. Um 
whenever I mentioned it there, I wanted to I wanted to do the ultra hardcore stuff single player, but since we made it a group thing, I don't think it's right for me to do anything with it um, outside of the group. Even though it originated with me, I still feel like it's we've we've set the tone for it as a group thing, and so it shall stay that way. So I will not be uh, I will not be doing this this idea ultra hardcore, but I do want to do it. Hey guy. You, you bad aim. Why can't I get skeletons like you in Ultra Hardcore? Every freaking skeleton you see in Ultra Hardcore, man. They got aim like, I don't know what. Legolas. Oh, you son of a bitch. You killed a chicken, too. Sure did. Look at that. And nothing left but <laughs> his body. Oh, man. It's like Strava. <laughs> Cartoon or something. Oh, these these mobs, man. Too many damn people in the sleep, though. Can't ever sleep. That's one good thing about single player, I guess, is you can sleep whenever you want. But uh, yeah. Anyways, the the idea. You know what? It's still not good enough. I'm gonna go a little bit further out because I don't want to have to go over top of this thing right here. Worst creeper made the hole bigger. But yeah, the idea for the single player thing. I think it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, and even though it's not ultra hardcore, hopefully you guys can uh, still enjoy it. I know that uh, ever since ever since the invention of ultra hardcore, every Minecrafter I've seen that's tried to do normal hardcore has been like people have been like, "This not good as ultra hardcore." <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for some of these guys out here uh, in the world. Oh no! How did he come in here? I mean, not that I'm like walled in or anything, but I, don't, I didn't even see him see him over there somewhere. Wherever he was, <sighs> this world is a dangerous place. <laughs> it's not a place for children. Uh, oh God, at the guys! I'm gonna get not a lot more of these zebra trees. I can't see him because all the fire. Oh, don't blow up on me. This fire aspect's kind of a waste, to be honest. Alright, fuck that side. Let's go look at this side for the while. There's 8 billion mobs over here, too. If so, I'm just going to put a second layer on this. I kind of want to get laid out before I start doing second layers, though. There's this dude. Man, who lit this place up? It's terrible. Um. So, yeah, I want to go with uh, what B00's done in his single player world with, with the automatic lighting system in here. Now I'm gonna probably want to still leave torches just so that in that time period between when the lights come on and because there's, there's a brief period of darkness even with that with that automatic system um, while you're waiting for the grass to die to cause the block update. Um, so I don't want to have to worry about zombie spawning during that during that time period. So I'll probably still want to have it lit up, but I want to, I don't know, I want to do something with that, because I really like, I really like that. It's just, I don't know, every time I see that in his single player videos, I'm like, just jealous of it. <laughs> it's like, I want, I want to have that too. Uh, I keep telling him, like, dude, do that on the server. <laughs> just so I can, like, tap into it. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, good, he died. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the sun to come up. People ask a lot why a lot of us don't wear armor on the server and it's just because I mean I don't die that much without wearing armor so at least it adds a little bit of excitement to the game uh, a little bit of fear fear of death because to me that's fun uh, the sun accomplished a little bit more we're almost there I wonder how this door has survived so hopefully Hopefully, when I get these villagers in here, they really, they really love each other a whole lot. Because they need to breed quickly. Can't be having <laughs> no slow breeding. <laughs> and as soon as, as soon as they become of age, they need to go ahead and start making some more babies. So, um, the law, the law of this village is. <laughs> if it bleeds, it breeds. Uh, I don't really know how these test certificate work. For some reason, 
with that big old nose like that, I feel like that's that's part of like that's like their sexual organ or something. <laughs> they like they rub their noses together and then babies pop out their butt. That right there deserves some fan art. I want to see graphic detail of how testificate babies are born. And like a stork can be in the background too. <laughs> Look at all these guys in there. All glitched out and shit. Dude, you can come out here, you know. You can make it. Oh, he fucked that all up, didn't he? Alright. Um, I was just on the red a second ago. Looking at uh, the thread on who... Like, each person can pick flair. <laughs> it's like straight out of uh, The Office, or <laughs> The Office is a pretty good show. Uh, straight out of Office Space. Um, oh no! Fucking thing. I like how he was up here just walking it like it was a damn tightrope or something. Damn creepers, man. But uh, yeah, uh, each person on the Reddit can pick Flair. And uh, I'm one of the bottom guys, man. Makes me sad. Nevers has more flair than me. Or more people that are that choose him as their as their flair. I'm so unloved. So a lot of people have been saying after the car video they would love to see <laughs> drive time with Good. And that's something that B00's brother actually does. He has a series where um I think it's on Wednesdays he does a little drive time thing where he just talks and drives. And that would be cool. I wonder if uh I wonder if you have to worry about showing people's license plates to do when you're doing that, because that would be that'd be an editing nightmare if you had to edit out every single license plate on the road. I'm pretty sure he doesn't do that though, um, so I don't know if it's something you have to worry about and he just doesn't, or if you just don't have to worry about it. Because that would be kind of cool. Um, I could do it on Wednesdays, <laughs> just like he does. Uh, whenever I go see my uncle every Wednesday, because that's a that's kind of a long drive, and there's not a lot going on. Just listen to the radio. That's about it. Now I have satellite radio. I don't have to listen to pop pop stations anymore either. That and I can plug my iPhone in. Uh, right, let's go here. What happened here? It's a massacre. I might have done that. I think I did, in fact. Speaking of of music, um, as I've told you guys before, I used to follow OAR around uh, during their tours. And those guys are just always on tour, uh, just non-stop touring machines. Um, sadly, they're at a point where they have so many people that are interested in them that it's hard. It's it well used to whenever you'd go to one of their concerts, uh, there was there was general admission. Uh, so if you wanted to be up front, downstage, down downstage. Is that <laughs> if you wanted to be in front of the stage, uh, you just have to basically be one of the first people there and get your ass down there. And uh, now, all their all their concerts are in places with just seating, so you, you have to you have to be one of the first people to buy tickets. And you know, whenever I was younger, we used to wait in line. You know, this is before you could buy tickets online. The internet was a magical place that the government used, and people didn't. Um, so like I remember like you know some Metallica concert stuff like that where we um, you know we stood in line all night to get our tickets and you know we had great tickets now man the tickets go on sale and I've never been able to get even decent tickets and so I don't know there's some kind of trick to this because you know you have people that have these YouTube accounts where all they do is sell front row seats to places um, to concerts and they they know something I don't know. Um, 
in fact, I've seen on eBay people selling the secrets to getting front row seats, but that's probably a bunch of bullshit. Who knows? Uh, so if you, anyone out there knows the, the secret to getting amazing tickets at concerts, I'd love to know this. Uh, but that's not where I was going with the story. Um, eh, a couple years ago, during I, don't, I, I wish I remember what year it was, just to, to make it more complete, the story. But, uh, oh, fuck you sheep. Um, one of their opening acts, you know, I've actually found quite a few bands I enjoy from from seeing them as opening acts for OAR. Um, but the one I want to talk about right now is Brett Denning. Another good one was Parachute, actually. Um, they're kind of poppy though. But uh, Brett Denning, and he was at like four concerts in a row that I went to by them uh, as their opening act, and every place. You could hear his band. You could not hear him. He was just this dorky, <laughs> ginger, goofiest motherfucker you've ever seen. Barefoot. Um, couldn't hear a word he was saying. <laughs> dancing like a fool. And um, <laughs> I'm sad to say I was kind of an asshole. And every one of the, I mean, not you know directly, but I was like, you know, I would say to my wife, man, this is the goofiest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Um... But after the fact, I you know I checked him out, and he's actually uh he's actually really good. He he's not the kind of music I think a lot of people would enjoy. Um, he's got a single on his newest CD called Sydney that I really like. Um, and there's a track off uh, one of his older CDs called Blessed, I think is the name of it. Um, that I, I enjoy that one as well. Uh, but yeah, he's got quite a... I've ended up buying all his CDs uh, since then, but he's got quite a bit of music that I really enjoy. Um, and I would never want to know about him had it not been for him opening up for OAR. Um, and Parachute, I saw them. They only opened for one concert that I went to. Um, and that was in... West Virginia. Uh, there was this little place... I can't remember the name of it. My wife would remember. It's it's like the name of a uh, man. The name reminds me of like a name of a newspaper, but I can't remember what it was now. But uh, it was a tiny little place, and it was. I mean, that was probably one of the best concerts I've been to ever. Um, at least one of the top, because. It was just such a small little place, and if you ate next door, you you got to go backstage before the concert started, and you were allowed early entry to the concert, so you were able to get you know a a, a spot right up front, and um, and with it being such a small little place, um, you could just touch the band if you wanted to, but uh, I remember the lead singer of Parachute. He's got like a nervous tick or something where he likes to lick his lips <laughs> like non stop. Uh, so that was the music, but <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure that the parachute, like the, the original single, the original, their first CD, uh, I'm pretty sure it was meant to be a Christian album and then they just changed the lyrics from like God to her basically. So it became a love song instead of a, uh, a religious song. But. Again, it's a little poppy, but yeah, they they're all right. I like them. Um, someone I found recently through Pandora is uh, Eric Hutchinson is his name, and I never heard of him at all before. I I had heard one of his songs. I recognized it once I was listening to his CDs, um, Rock and Roll or something's name of it. I don't remember the name of the song now. Um, but uh, I really enjoy him too. I. Uh, <laughs> I have a paid membership with Pandora, which I know probably a lot of people were like, well, you know, why don't you use Spotify? And I have Spotify too, but for some reason I like Pandora better. You would think you would think you would like Spotify more because you have more control over what you're going to get. I don't want these underneath this. I want to get some more saplings. All oh, that damn sun's coming down. Um, but for some reason I like, I like Pandora because it's just going to give me stuff and I'm going to listen to it. Um... I was worried it wouldn't work in my car, but I guess the Bluetooth just transmits any audio straight through the speakers. So that's kind of cool. So you can, I mean, I don't have unlimited bandwidth on my phone though, so it's not something I could use all the time. 
I wish I had had an AT&T contract back whenever they had unlimited as an option. But I was, uh, I was just being stubborn about the iPhone. Kept thinking, oh, I'm not going to get one, I'm not going to get one. I finally gave in and got one. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, um, I guess through the night here, let me work on this. And that way you guys don't have to keep seeing the same the same block get placed. I'll, I'll come back when I'm going to place a different block. Just, you know, because that matters for some reason. <laughs> uh, well, actually, now I'm placing different blocks right now, guys. I'm placing torches. And I have been placing this. And, oh, and I placed saplings, too. So there's been a lot of variety in this here video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Look at that shit. Got double teamed, man. Double teamed. Wasn't fair at all. At all, I tell you. If you guys have been seeing, you'd you, you be writing Jeb a letter right now. <laughs> oh, man. No one laughed at me. That's different. I haven't got a lot done since I stopped recording. I uh, I ran around and spammed. Oh no! Oh, it didn't get me. Ran around and spammed torches. That's about all I've really accomplished. Run, motherfucker, run! <laughs> Fuck you, neighbors. <laughs> Uh. See, so yeah, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get much accomplished over here. Uh, I just had to show that I died. It's important to be honest. Oh, oh, why did I hit him? Fuck. Fight. Fight, bitches, fight. Oh, they are fighting. They're fighting. I got my money on the right guy. Oh, he just missed. Oh, right guy's getting owned. Oh, he missed again. Dude, get your shit together. Oh, money. I won. <laughs> Got these fucking skeletons up here waiting for me still. They better not be. That one was probably like a punch away from death. I'd got him twice with my sword. That sword's worthless, man. Like, you don't... The flame just doesn't do anything, pretty much. I don't know where the skeletons went. I guess they... They got a life. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's cool. Damn, guys. Oh, I had some arrows. I should have shot that bastard. He knocked me off. I was up here putting down stuff, and he knocked me off. Ruined my day. Um... Anyways, let me get back to putting down these things, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I think I've got it. The thing is, well, I think I, I think I have it high enough all the way around where nothing can come in, except for spiders, obviously. Um, the thing is, I don't know if I should try to level it out more, um, cause see, like down through here where it comes down, right here. Hey guys. <laughs> Obviously these two aren't the same height. Um I mean it's gonna be hard to get it the same height all the way around and it not look retarded, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to decide what I should do. Get in here. I keep hearing him splashing around to kill him. I think I've got it lit up in, lit up in here enough too, where nothing can spawn. Uh, I think to finish off this episode, I want to go peek in this cave again. Is that cave inside or outside of the wall? Here it is. I just want to see if it goes down for this, since we've looked in here the other day. And did not explore it in detail. 
That guy was just not within range to cause an explosion. There might be something more to that right back there. We'll go down here first though. If we want that iron. Piddly bit of water there. Yeah, this is probably that same gravel. Yep. Called it. Alright, so not much to this cave, I don't think. Let's do something back this other direction. Guess I'll have to come grab this iron another time. Because I do not have the inventory room for it. And this just goes up and out, right? Yeah. Yeah, so nothing to this place, really. Oh shit, I didn't realize it uh that multiple erections over here. It's not like I said erections. <laughs> multiple erections. <laughs> they last more than four hours to see your doctor. Looks like an inner room was here. right here. Or anything, I'm just kind of curious if any of this stuff goes down to diamond level or anything like that. Because if it does, then it'll give me something to do when I'm bored. Sometimes I do caving and I don't record it. Because people get emo about caving for some reason. I don't know why. Um... You guys see those pyramids they're adding? Someone said something about a tripwire. Like, I think Dinnerbone said something about a tripwire. I'm not... I didn't see that, though, but I don't follow him on Twitter. Um, so maybe he tweeted that and I didn't see it. Tripwire would be cool, though. Like, I know they put a trap in the pyramid that they made uh, at the bottom of it. Um, the thing with that is, I mean, if you know what's there, then it's not much of a trap, you know? Look at all that iron right here, man. That'd be, that'd be good in a UHC. Damn it, you're going to make me have to get rid of something, aren't you? I guess... There we go. Well, now I can grab all this iron. Yay! Should do a season where we all start with a badass pick. Not fortune, though. That'd be too badass. Just kind of badass. <laughs> Some more iron over here. I think it's all there is to this cave. I'm gonna gather up this iron, but I'm gonna finish this episode here. Appreciate you guys watching as always, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Um, I think I'm gonna get Fred down to the village, and uh, don't worry, I won't. I won't mate him and Noah without you guys. <laughs> we'll definitely. Uh, we'll definitely make a sex tape together. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Um, I might work on that wall some more. Figure out how it's supposed to look. I might do some different color wood or something. Mix it all together. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Always on fire. You watch it go. Yes. <laughs> you know your diamond shit just got
out of them from all sides.